My name is Deborah Huth and I have been associated with the m and &E Foundation since 2011. Um, I work full time but um, I actually support the Foundation not only as a Director of the Board and Treasurer but also any fundraising that's available. I'll, if I can put my hand up for it, I'm definitely there. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm so excited about the Overland Challenge. It's, it's sort of like combining two things that I really love. Um, my passion for supporting people with M&D and I love walking, you know, uh, it's just, it just works out perfectly for me. So um, I became involved with um, M&D and me through Scott Sullivan. So Scott had just had his first gala dinner and which was a huge success and he put out on Facebook what are we going to do with all this money? What do people suggest? And at that stage, um, my son David, um, had, who'd been diagnosed with MND at 13, um, had been living with it for quite some time. So I gave him a significant amount of information on how to support people with MND because at that stage, we were not supported. Uh, everything that David needed, we paid for. Um, we were struggling with. Um, trying to find the support that's needed and f trying to find the right people to contact and it became very much a trial and error which I found frustrating and as a mother you just want to fix it so it's very frustrating to try and go through that process. I joined the board in 2012 in the hope that my role as a carer would be able to provide some support and understanding to the board of the difficulties that families with M&D have to deal with. Um, and the struggles that they experience on a daily basis. So that's the reason why I've become part of m Me Foundation. So talking to Scott was just amazing. He had that same mindset and when he created m Me Foundation, it was just everything that I was hoping to be able to support people with m and which has been awesome. So the passion to have that ability to now continue to support people with M&D, it's really important to me because I know how hard it is to go through that. Sorry. Um, I don't want anyone else to do that. So that's, um, that's why this foundation is so important to me, um, to my family. Uh, People will see, um, people will see on the m and &E Foundation site that um, Team David, which is what, um, uh, what, what my family have created. A lot of it has to do with my sister Sharon, who's been awesome, and my other sister Colina, um, and my daughter um, Melissa and her husband Ryan. They've been awesome. They've been amazing. Um, and my other son Damien all gets down there and we do our contribution, our, our little bit to to show that people with M&D, families with M&D can continue to contribute to help other people um, on their journey. And now my granddaughter Mia has started. She has been a part of um, our little journey right from the start. Um, so she's now done her first two kilometre dash this year. So that's been really exciting. And uh, every year we, uh, we support I, <laughs> we don't run. <laughs> we certainly do not run. Uh, we shuffle, we walk. Um, my son-in-law, uh, Ryan, he runs, and so it's my daughter. Um, but uh, we shuffle along and we walk, and uh, we raise funds every year through the, um, at the Gold Coast Marathon events. Um, and uh, it's, it's important that people realise that you don't need to raise a lot of money, you just need to make the effort. And that's our effort every year to do that and donate in David's name. Um, and it has been a huge benefit to us to do things like that. Uh, it's a huge benefit um, to the foundation because every little bit helps. And we have found that by just doing something, even if it's only a little thing, 
it just helps significantly to know that you're doing something to make things better. You can't fix M&D, but what you can do is contribute to make somebody else's M&D journey a little bit easier. I think I don't see it. I don't see it that way. I think it's a privilege to be able to do it, yeah. um, and I enjoy it. It has been. Um, I think I love. I think one of the things I love the most is the Stones Corner Festival. We miss the Stones Corner Festival because it was the opportunity to get out there and shake a bucket and um, mix with people and uh, make people realise that you know there are. Sometimes you don't realise that you, you know, people with fam families with MD don't always realise you have their support out there. And so by being out there and wearing the shirts, I wear MD shirts everywhere. Then it brings to people's attention that there is somebody out there, there is a group of people out there who are there to support them and to make their MD journey a little bit easier. And places like, um, the Stones Corner Festival and the Gold Coast Marathon weekend and all those events, the, the riding events, all of them have a not just the ability to raise funds, because we need those funds, but be also to raise awareness for the foundation and to raise awareness for people who are going through the M&D journey.